everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it's so nice to meet you. Today's video, we are going to be using a tier maker to rank Colleen Hoover books. So <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this tier chart thing, I guess, to show you guys how I feel about each book. I felt like it was really difficult for me to kind of put in order from my favorite to least favorite. So I just decided to create a couple of different categories and then add books to those categories because I feel like I have given all these books five stars and I did this with Taylor Jenkins Reads books. Um, I ranked them from one to seven, but there are only seven books and Colleen Hoover has 23, I think, as of right now, which is a lot more. So it was a lot more difficult for me to rank my favorite versus least favorite. I definitely could tell you like my favorite, but it's hard for me to tell you about like the bottom, I guess. It's hard to rank. So this is what I'm doing for today's video and I'm very excited because I have been waiting for a while to do this, but I wanted to make sure that I had all of 2022 updated on here. So um, that's what's happening today. If you guys like Colleen Hoover books, then hopefully you'll enjoy this. But I need to record on my screen. So let's grab that. Okay, file, new screen recording. I don't want to record the whole screen. I just want to record the tier thing. Okay, okay, it's recording. So this is my chart and I kind of want to explain the the tiers that I have over here, um, the categories, if you will. So I also have Finding Cinderella on here twice, so we're gonna ignore that. But the first category is called Lots of Tears. And this means that I cried, whether from it being sad or from happy tears or whatever reason, I cried and so it goes in that category. Next is chaotic in the best way. Chaotic in the best way to me means that lots of things were happening, but I didn't feel like it was overwhelming. Um, it may be books that like other people don't like because of how chaotic it was, but personally I think chaos in the best way. I'm here for it. Next is a cutie little feel good. Typically for me these are more of the YA books. They do not deal with as heavy of topics as the adult books do, and also the novellas typically fall under this category for me simply because because they are so short that there's not a lot of time to delve into really difficult topics. The next one is what is going on in all caps. And I feel like you know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> um, and then the last category is a great read, but not super memorable. It means I read it once. I have no desire to read it again. I thought it was great when I read it, but it's, I would have to read a description to kind of know exactly what was going on. Um, maybe something that like I get the original premise of, but not something that stands out in my mind. And I would have a hard time discussing with someone since I haven't read it in a long time. So with that being said, those are all of the categories. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first book on here is November 9. And I'm going to put chaotic in the best way because if you've read this book, you know, but it's kind of the ending and the plot twist at the end that makes it chaotic in the best way. In my opinion, I really enjoyed this book. I know a lot of people don't like it because they don't like the ending. I personally loved the ending and it ended just how I wanted it to at the very, very end. But um, I do think because of that plot twist, it's chaotic in the best way. Next is Reminders of Him. This one's going straight to Lots of Tears. This is actually the book I was thinking of whenever I thought of Lots of Tears. This book is very heavy on um, mother-daughter relationship. And for me, any book that talks very heavily of parent-child relationships, um, really, that's gonna make me cry every time. So that's why that's going there. Never Never is a series of YA novellas, I guess. So you put the three together and you have one book, but there's three parts. Um, and it was co-written with Taryn Fisher. I personally really liked this one and I'm gonna say this was a cutie little feel good just because it's not super heavy and also there's some like very unrealistic elements to it that I think are interesting enough to put into a cutie little feel good because it's not like super heavy real world stuff. Next is Regretting You and this was the very first Colleen Hoover book I ever read. I didn't actually cry reading this book but I do remember lots of things that happened in this book and they are very tear worthy so definitely going into lots of tears. Very sad but also very good. This is also um, the strengthening of a mother-daughter relationship as well. Um, so I feel like that is important. Heartbones gets to be cutie little feel good to me. This is like summer beach house kind of vibes. It's YA. So it kind of just goes into the cutie little feel good section. Um, it starts with us very heavy on the mother-daughter relationship. Um, a mother wanting to do everything in her power to make sure that her child is protected, taken care of, everything of that nature always goes into lots of tears for me. Layla is the first book that goes into 
into the uh what is going on because it's way more chaotic than you expect it's literally not anything that you would ever expect from this author if you haven't read it it's paranormal if i'm being honest i'm not really a paranormal fan but this book was crazy in every single way and i was literally going what the heck is going on basically the entire book although it is easy to understand but yeah just that whole thing next is it ends with us and this one's gonna go in lots of tears i remember um if you've read this book i feel like it's not really a spoiler because if you are watching this then you probably have already read it but based on how it ends i was mad but also i was crying because again this is like a, a mother trying to protect her daughter at all costs even if it's at the cost of herself so that kind of goes into that category i think this is hopeless yeah, this is hopeless. You can't see the cover or the title because I forgot to change the format of the covers to be vertical instead of squares. So anyway, hopeless, lots of tears. I love this book. This is one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books. Um, and it was towards the beginning that I read this book. So I definitely love this book. There's lots of going on, lots going on, but it's definitely one of my favorites and deserves some tears. Next up is Verity. Verity is that book. Most people, if they've read no other Colleen Hoover books, they have read It Ends With Us and Verity. And Verity is one of those books that's, it's chaotic in the best way. However, this definitely belongs in the what is going on category. If you've read this book, you know exactly why. It's very different from the rest of her books. And it's a wild ride from start to finish. Next is Maybe Now. And this is actually the third book in the Maybe Someday series. Personally, I didn't love this one that much. Um, I liked it, but it wasn't, I mean, put it in great read but not super memorable. Um, I could tell you what goes on in it because I read it not that long ago but it almost felt like it was a continuation of the series because people ask for it and not because she had like a continuation of the story to actually go. It had a very like satisfying ending but in my opinion this one was so-so in comparison to the others. Um, I feel the same way about Confess. This one is not my cup of tea. I just it it's not as memorable as the others. I thought it was good when I read it. I liked it but it just it doesn't like stand out to me as one of the best, if that makes sense. So that's why that's towards the bottom. Finding Cinderella is a novella and it kind of connects um, All Your Perfects with, I just realized All Your Perfects is not on here. Rude. Okay, it connects All Your Perfects with the Hopeless series. And this one honestly is such a feel good because of the way that it connects it. So I am a big fan of that. And then actually Finding Cinderella is the novella that goes after the Hopeless books. So it's Hopeless, Finding Hope, Finding Cinderella. And then if you read All Your Perfects and then Finding Perfect goes after that. So I'm actually gonna put Finding Perfect there. And that one, Chef's Kiss. It's the perfect way to tie those two series together. Next is Without Merit. And if you've read this book before, then you know what I'm talking about, but I find it chaotic in the best way. It is a YA book, but to me, it reads very much like a John Green novel, and I am a huge John Green fan. I read all of his books when I was in high school, and it was basically my only personality trait is that I loved John Green in high school. So um, because it reminds me a lot of his writing, chaotic in the best way. Love it. Lots of things happen. Just the whole premise, they live in an abandoned church that was converted into a house, and it's, it's chaotic, and I love it. Next is Maybe maybe Not, and Maybe Not is gonna go in Cutie Little Feel Good because it's a novella. Again, there's not a ton of time for a plot to like fully be drawn out before it can be resolved. Um, so it is just a cute little feel good about two people from the Maybe Someday series. Um, so it's not the main characters in that series, but it's side characters and kind of a little bit of development there and you kind of get to know those characters a little bit better and you get to know them enough without like overdoing it. And I think that's really cute. Next is Maybe Someday. This one falls under great read, but not super memorable. It's not that I don't find it not memorable, but it's just not it for me. It's not. Okay, next is Point of Retreat. And Point of Retreat is part of the Slammed series. So actually, let me start with Slammed. Slammed to me is great but not memorable. This girl is again great but not memorable and so is Point of Retreat. So truthfully all three of those books are great but not memorable. They're not my favorites. Um, they were the last book of her last books of hers that I read with the exception of It Starts With Us because that one just came out but it's not my favorite. But also I didn't think they were bad. They're definitely YA. Um, very quick reads and you can tell that they were some of her first books because the writing is a little bit less mature um, but it also is a YA novel so that makes sense. So next is Losing Hope. It's basically the same story as um, Hopeless, but from the male perspective. And I think it's the best way to do that. Honestly, like I had never seen two books written basically the same book, but from two different perspectives before. And this was the first time I'd ever seen it. And honestly, I think it was very well done. I enjoy the story on both ends, but I didn't feel like I was reading the same book twice, even though it's the same story twice, if that makes sense. So that's why it's going in lots of tears. Those are my two favorites of her books. Next is Two 
too late. This one is going in what is going on. If you've ever read this book, you know for sure why I put this here because so much happens. You're like 50% of the way through the book and then it says it's the prologue and you're like, what in the world is going on? From start to finish, it's a wild ride. I had my Apple Watch on when I was reading this book and it stopped me and was like, are you okay? Your heart rate is, is really high, but you seem to be sitting still. It was a wild ride from start to finish. There's like a million trigger warnings. So if you need any trigger warnings, definitely don't read this one, but it was wild. And I know a lot of people don't like it because of how weird and wild it is. The last one on here is Ugly Love. And I'm gonna say this was chaotic in the best way, simply because of that one part, you know what I'm talking about if you've read it. Rachel's all I gotta say. It's chaotic because of Rachel. Um, And then since I don't have finding, I mean, all your perfects on here, I have literally no idea where it went. I don't know why it didn't get added to here, but we're gonna use finding the second Finding Cinderella to take the place of that so that I can put it on here. Finding Cinderella goes under, or Finding All Your Perfects goes under lots of tears because again, it is parent-child kind of thing. It is... I don't know. I think it's very different from a lot of the books um, that I've read that are like typical romances. This one deals with a more taboo subject of infertility and marital problems. And I personally love that that is so different. So that's why I added that there. So that is my ranking of all the Coho books. Clearly books go into different categories. Clearly the ones that were least memorable to me were the Maybe Someday series and the Slam series. Um, so clearly I'm not into the series. Mine is hopeless. But I think this gives you a good idea of how I feel about all the books without ranking them 1 to 22 or 23, however many there are, because I feel like that's really difficult to do. I think if I were to give my least favorite book, it would be Confess um, and then Slammed and then the Maybe Now books, but I don't think I could accurately rank the top books after one. It would be Hopeless, Losing Hope, All Your Perfects, and then from there, the rest of them would kind of just be like tied for like fourth or fifth place. It would be really hard for me to do that. So I wanted to share. And if you've read these books, then I hope you agree with my feelings on these books. But also I know a lot of people don't like them because they're quick reads. They're super easy reads and people think that they're a little too easy to read, but I personally am a big fan. I am working on my personal collection of her books right now and I'm getting through them, but this is my ranking. Let me know if you guys agree, if you don't agree, where you would put books. And that's all I have for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!